Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia. Broadcast for today. Reactions of Silence. The unforgivable memory of 1915. Katrin Bosnoyan. The future of Armenians in Javakh. The old mosaic displayed in the Amasa Museum is the cultural heritage of the Armenian people. Baku uses the conference to mislead the world community. Travel to the monastery, Western Armenia. Lydia's journey, an Armenian refugee story, Catherine Kovel. Tigran Agert, Armenian memory is under threat. In 1915, on that fateful morning, heavy darkness covered the Armenian people, trying not only to silence their voice, but also to annihilate them. Villages once alive, filled with laughter and everyday whispers of life, turned into ruins, and the stories disappeared with the wind. Armenians who were declared enemies in their own homeland were persecuted. Their houses were destroyed. Their culture, history, and heritage were also destroyed. The streets, once full of joy, were now danced in the blood of in the innocent and mothers in the wailing of their children. They was filled with fear. The sky, which used to be a cover of hope and dreams, uh, has now become a gray bird. The desert sand burning under the bare feet reflected the fires that consumed their sleeves. Screams of pain echoed across the wasteland, reaching the heavens in hope for justice. Catherine Bosnoyan is a Syrian Armenian student from the Metropolitan School in Cairo, who has a keen interest in human rights and youth protection. Politicians, international organizations, and youth groups from different countries of the world declare that the future of the Armenians of Javakh is important. They note that the Armenian community must overcome all its upcoming difficulties with united efforts. Our compatriots in Javakh have preserved their culture and language for many years. This happened due to their unbreakable character and national self-awareness. The Armenian community of Javakh, which is mainly concentrated in the region of Wales and Ahal Kalaki, is currently facing a number of challenges. The reason is mainly emigration, lack of education and economic problems. In order to ensure the future of Armenians in Javakh, expansion of support is necessary. It is also important that the local authorities pay more attention to the problems of the Armenian community, create better conditions for young people so that they can stay and develop in their homeland. Thus, the international community and local authorities should cooperate in the development and preservation of the Armenian community of Javakh. They should be ready to propose solutions that will help to improve the social economic situation and protect national and cultural values. A 1,700-year-old mosaic on display in a Mesa museum is the only known ancient mosaic in which an apple tree is depicted. This discovered monument proves that the Amasya apple was famous for its taste even in ancient times. It should be noted that the mosaic is the cultural heritage of the Armenian people. After the genocide against the Armenians, the Turks occupied the Armenian territories, appropriating everything and ascribing it to them. Apple is the most popular fruit among Armenians. It was considered an important fruit and was attributed to a powerful fertility power. The international community should pay attention to the Turkish fix and their character, which is manifested by appropriating other people's homeland, traditions, culture, language, and even food. It is necessary to put an end to this looting policy carried out by Turkey, demanding justice and preservation of historical truth. In 2024, on November 11 up to 22, the UN Climate Change Conference, COP29, is planned in Baku, in which leaders of various countries, official delegations, representatives of international organizations, and many journalists are invited to participate. Baku uses the conference to mislead the world community and divert public opinion from the crimes associated with the reality of its country. There is also no doubt that the indifferent approach of the officials and structures invited to the conference will be considered by the leadership of that country as an encouragement to the crimes committed in Baku. The invasion of the territory of the Republic of Eastern Armenia and the pressure on the Republic of Armenia with the threat of force. The monastery is located in the historical territory of Western Armenia. It is a place of historical and cultural significance. The date of construction of the monastery is not known, but in the 19th century it was considered the largest monastery in the region. 
Comparing the photos separated by 50 years, it turns out that a serious decline took place in the monastery complex. There is now no sign of the substantial circular wall that existed in 1975. Now only parts of the two walls of the church and a small number of ruins remain. Many visitors claim that the monastery reveals the centuries-old history of the Armenian people and their endurance. The monastery reminds us of Armenian history, which has not only come down to us from the past, but is also present in our lives. Visiting here provides an opportunity to connect closely with our history and highlight our cultural values. The book Lydia's Journey, an Armenian refugee story, is a wonderful work inspired by the 800 work biography written by the author Catherine Kovas' elder sister. It documents the story of Kova's mother, Lydia Zakarian, who was one of the survivors of the genocide and died in 1965. Kova wrote the book on the memory of the letters that contained posthumous memories of the events that took place during the genocide against the Armenian people. The book includes documents such as Zakarian's high school graduation diploma. Lydia's journey is available on Amazon, Baroness and Nobel. With the cooperation of Hamlet Petrosian and Marina Dadeyan, the famous French magazine Le Spectacle du Monde published the article, Tigran Akert, Armenian Memories Under Dread. This ancient city named after Tigran the Great is a treasure of Armenian and European culture, which today is occupied by Azerbaijan and facing the danger of extinction. This was all for today. I wish you a good weekend. Goodbye.